afternoon everybody good afternoon my dear viewer hope you are good and um, trust you are doing well and fine i welcome you again to my channel video concept so um let me still encourage you to kindly subscribe to my channel and like my videos and also drop your comments in the section comment section area okay so for today okay before we go into today's video i don't want the video to be long at all i don't want the video to be long at all so this year promises to be great by god's grace so i'm wishing you a happy new year and i pray that everything we desire can be granted and trust yeah so this year we'll be having um lots of videos amazing videos that will definitely help us to grow our graphic designers yes so for today i just want to show us the way i um how i design my christmas design that was for last year yeah um, this is it here you can see so this is what i actually want to show us how i came up with this what i did to achieve this design merry christmas and happy new year i designed this for the last year december 25th so very very fast i don't want the video to take time just like i said earlier i was showing us how i went about and how i was able to achieve this so are we good to go so um this was actually the main design here so we'll be doing a rep replica here so before we start don't forget um set your size by on um, four by four um we are using inches the color mode rgb and my resolution is 400 and you can so the first thing i did there was don't forget to unlock that was to create my background and I need that BG and gradient overlay. Okay, so I made um, my angle. My angle there was um, 64. Yeah, 64. Oh, sorry. Then the color. I'll be saying the color code I used for the design. So for the left part, the color, the color code I mean was 06 yeah 06 3a 3a 36 yeah so that was the color code for this part and the other part here the right part is 012724 so you can see that on your screen right okay, so that was the color code and you can just uh Drag it down a bit. Yeah, you can drag it down a bit. Okay. So yeah, that's for the background. Then I added um, a texture over it, and I'll be dropping all the materials that I use for this video in the description link. So yeah, you can also um, have access to download the resources. I used in the video. Then I used um, the color blending mode here was lighting. Then reduce the opacity to 14. Yeah, 14. Okay. So this was how I was able to achieve this, this background. So you can group these two together and name it BG. I'm um, sorry, BG. So then I imported this one. Um, this particular um, December Christmas um, Japanese flower work. So uh, what I did here was first of all rasterize this. I click and rasterize, then duplicate it. So, um, lock, hide this the one down. Just hide one, anyone, hide one. So what you want to do now is using your um, polygon lasso tool. You want to cut out this part i mean this part of and leave this upper, upper part but before that 
um, yeah press ctrl c and right click then choose flip vertical then flip horizontal so you should have something like this now yeah you should have something like this so use your uh, polygon lasso to, to cut let's just remove this object that we need to okay so delete each your delete and press ctrl d to do that so let's cut off this part of Part of the part of this tree of so delete okay so control D we are left with only this now is how I how I achieve this so that I need to cut my filter option or the filter menu when you go to your blur then use the motion blur I was actually playing with the blur stuff the day I made the design came across motion blur so wow, this is very, very amazing. It's worked well. It gave me what I actually want. So we can use 900. Let's maintain 900. Yeah. So just yes, I believe you've gotten that. Then now this one that we um eat the last time we can unlock that now, so we can see it. So this is here now. So same thing, cut off the upper part now. The upper part, cut it off. So then you get, yeah, it's your delete. Okay. So yeah, you are left with this now. So we're still using our, you can increase this a bit so you can cover um, the other screen. Okay. So still using the same, doing the same thing. Okay, same thing, do it with the down one too. Um, okay, so don't forget to group your two blood objects together. You can just name it blood. So that's for that. And the um, last object I reported, very really simple, was this Christmas bell, everything. Yeah, Christmas bell. So that was the last one I reported. Okay, I think it's okay this way. Then let me increase it a bit and a bit. Then I I edited it to I sent it um I sent it to our page. So okay. So in case if this is your first video you are watching and you are convinced because of this is not a beginner video. So if you don't really understand um, the interface of Photoshop, yeah, you have a video on, on how you can on how to understand the interface and manipulate around Photoshop. So you can also you can watch that video also so that you can understand um, how to use Photoshop because I'm not really explaining some basic stuff here, which I believe that as long as you avoid that video, you should understand everything I'm doing now okay so just to brighten up our uh, icon uh, bell. Yeah. so control L to add bell. Okay. So I think it's okay it's just a tutorial you can always make yours better always make yours better in fact not I'm expecting to make yours better Okay, so I think after this then So I said I don't want to make the video very very long So I'll be coming to the previous video um, To the one I did earlier So this Merry Christmas I'll be copying it And I'll be pasting it here There's nothing too serious in this Nothing serious So what I just did was I wrote Merry Christmas with my test tool 
and the name of this font is Acti. Definitely, I'll drop the font, or the font is already on the um, link for where you can download the resources. So this is Acti, and the size here is 50 by 7. Sorry, I mean 50.7. And this Christmas, I used uh, Autograph. That is the name of the font. And um, the color code now, yeah, let me see the color code. The color code I used was FB, sorry, FB AC00, FB AGT, FB AC, FB AC00. Then um, I now added a stroke. Without the stroke, let me show you how it looks like without the, the stroke. So these are my Christmas look. So you see, it is not really showing very well. So what can I do? I have to add a stroke using my blending mode. Um, I added this can you see this stroke outside please make sure that the position is not inside can you see it now when it is inside so make sure that it is outside outside and the size is seven and the color is white so that's for that then happy and happy new year in advance the size is 10.69 can decide to change change the size whichever way you like but don't forget the rules of of design your hierarchy is very very important you can still watch my videos too on basics of graphic design yeah what you need to know about design skill yeah, you can see what that yeah. after that i think the last thing i did was to add this um from close a charlie phone and non close a charlie skipping okay so don't forget to center your um before centering, please group your objects together, every similar object, group them together, group them together and once you have grouped them, don't forget to center your work on your um, on the page so that your work can be balanced, that your design can be very very balanced. So what I did now was you can also copy this or you write any other thing you wish, so the font I used here was Monster Art. Yeah, I used Monster Art, and for here I used Arte for my um, memory. And for this, I only used three fonts. You might be looking three fonts. It didn't, it didn't eat too much. If I, I, if I should use Arte for the, for this, I don't really like the font for that. So this is how it looks like for Arte. Yeah, so really, the font is actually cool. So for simplicity, we can still maintain active. Okay, let me use active. So as you know, we only use two design for this tutorial. Yeah. So let's use active for. So we are only using two font. So that's just it. And I added a shape. This shape you can see here. I added it. What I did, what I did was just to reduce the opacity to 30. This is the initial color, and the color code is um, 00, 001715. So here's the color code 001715. So I just reduced the opacity to 30. So that's it. And I placed it below not above the test can you see it my test is above my test is above it test is above it so center it also center it vertically center it horizontally and group both of them together just like i did this and i named it isaiah then align it again on your page you can see the alignment so that's all i did and aside from that, I added my brand new and my social media icon. So I think that's so. This was what I designed, and yes, can you see the same thing? So, so this is all I just want to show you for today. And don't forget to always save your work. Yeah, so save your design. Won't be saving this because I already have the sample already. So. Yeah, thank you for your time and I'll be very happy to hear your review.
to hear your comment and i'll be happy for your like too so don't forget to like if, if you do so see you now in my next tutorial